Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lauren Fix, and this is the 2024 Subaru Impreza. There are some changes for 2024. It only comes in a hatchback, no more sedan, and a brand new 11.6 inch center screen. This is the sixth generation of the Impreza. It still has that great all wheel drive. There are two motor choices. We're going to go through all the details. You're going to be impressed with the Impreza. The Subaru Impreza is a practical hatchback. It comes standard with all wheel drive, which is what Subaru is famous for. And the best thing is it comes in at a reasonable price. There are three trim levels, the base, the sport and the RS. And this is the RS. The Subaru comes with LED lighting as well as that new redesigned headlight. The RS model we're showing you has these black 18 inch wheels. They ride on Yokohama 225 40R. 18s. Really nice looking and goes along with this sportier look. And of course, there are other wheel choices. Also new for 2024 is a 16.6 gallon gas tank over that 13.2 so you can get longer range on your off-road adventure. Warranty is three years, 36,000 miles. There's a longer powertrain warranty and there's no complimentary maintenance. Let's take a look at this vehicle. I like the blackout trim and the RS trim level. Of course, you can buy all these extra Subaru accessories over the counter so you can put your surfboard, your skis, your bike, whatever it is that you like to do off-road. This is a five-door hatchback, like I've been saying. Really nice, sleek, and sporty. Coming around to the back, you've got this black sporty upper wing on the RS trim level. The wiper blade is here. I kind of wish it was tucked up underneath. That's sort of my little personal thing. LED tail lights. Your Impreza logo here, the RS, to show you got the sporty version Impreza that back there. And of course, this really clean, sportier look, which is a huge improvement for the 2024 model. Inside the Impreza is a brand new 11.6 inch screen, and it has all the controls for the climate as well as your media, your navigation are right there. And below this is the wireless charging, your Prindle, your heated front seats, which is nice to have, as well as your parking brake and a 12 volt outlet charger, two cup holders. Inside you've got a nice little glove box, storage in the doors, as well as this new interior design. The 11.6 inch touch screen is not on the base model, which gets a seven inch touch screen. The RS also offers the Harman Kardon audio 10 speaker sound system, compatible wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto dual zone climate control and USB-C and USB-A charge ports. Subaru comes through their Starlink program, which is a full standard suite of safety and security connected features that includes an SOS emergency assistance, stolen vehicle recovery and remote vehicle locator. And it has earned a top safety pick, which is good and very positive for the brand. Standard is adaptive cruise control and lane keeping assist, but optionally you can purchase the blind spot monitoring rear cross traffic alert and the automatic emergency braking. I do like the look of these new front seats. They are cloth material, so they're easy to clean. They are manual all the way around. There are no power seating on our RS trim level. Heading into the second row, you've got a spot for two child safety seats, an armrest that comes down with two cup holders and charge ports that are three amp for the USB-C and a 2.4 for the USB-A. Very simple back here. You got a pocket storage in the doors. I do like the red details in the RS certainly makes it look a little bit sportier. Under the hood of our RS is 182 horsepower, 2.5 liter flat four cylinder engine. That's 30 more horsepower than the base two liter power plant. A CVT transmission is standard and they're no longer offering a manual transmission, which actually makes me sad. Standard all wheel drive, big plus zero to 60 in 7.8 seconds. That's 1.2 seconds quicker. Fuel economy is 27 miles to the gallon in the city and 34 on the highway. That's nearly 500 miles on a tank of gas because of the larger tank. It has torque vectoring, a new power steering rack has also been added, which lightens up the steering feel. Standard is a naturally aspirated two liter flat cylinder four engine with 152 horsepower and 145 pound feet of torque. Zero to 60 time is 8.4 seconds, but I personally like this RS. When it comes to cargo space, fold down that 6040 second row and you're at 56 cubic feet of storage. That's quite a bit, especially compared to its competitors. The 2024 Subaru Impreza starts at $22,995. That's for the entry level. You want this vehicle, which is the RS. It looks cool and looks sporty. And I love this blue color. You're at $27,885, under $30,000. And you get all wheel drive and a five door hatchback that is fun to drive on and off road, which is what Subaru is all about. Now, there is a lot of pros and cons. Roomy seating and cargo area, which is 
pretty much top of the class. Standard all-wheel drive on some of the competitors, you have to pay more for that. Many standard optional features, standard safety, which is really an improvement, top of the line safety, and of course, a smooth ride. On the negative side, this is not a luxury car, but Subaru is not a bought luxury. If you want it, you can look at some of their other vehicles and find things that will meet your needs. The competitor list is really long. It includes the Mazda 3, the Honda Civic, Toyota Prius, a Volkswagen Jetta, the Toyota Prius Prime, the Hyundai Elantra, the Kia Forte, the Nissan Kicks, and there are others. Remember, some still offer the sedan, some only offer the hatchback. So find out what works for you, test drive all those vehicles. There'll be a link down below to the reviews of all of those vehicles so that you can do your homework before you make a decision. Don't forget to check with your insurance agent before you make a final decision, because that could make a difference besides the car payment and what you can afford. Now, I'm sure you have additional questions on the Subaru Impreza. Put them down below. Let's start that conversation. If you got value from this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this one. If you'd like to support our channel, you can buy me a cup of coffee. The link for that is down below. And also, if you stay just a little bit longer, I have another way for you to save some money and support our channel. All the links for the social media, the book, the website, and the podcast are down below. Thank you so much for watching. Look forward to seeing you next time. I'm Lauren Fix. Have you ever thought, why in the world is my wireless bill so darn high? What are we paying all this money for? Speed, coverage, data, access to 5G, unlimited talk and text, mobile hotspots? We are partnering with Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile offers all of these features for as low as $15 per month. They're reimagining the wireless shopping experience and made it easy and online. No stores, no salespeople, just huge direct to you savings. Why should you pay more when you have access to premium wireless? Mint Mobile runs on the nation's largest 5G network. Whether you use your phone to watch YouTube, listen to podcasts or play games, you get the same speed and performance as the big guys while connecting to Mint's network. How hard is it to switch your service? Big Wireless wants you to think it's hard, but switching to Mint is super easy. Thanks to digital e-SIM cards, which most phones now have, you can sign up and activate immediately right on your phone from the comfort of your home. And if your phone doesn't have an e-SIM, Mint will ship you a new SIM card for free. Just go to trymintmobile.com slash Lauren Fix, also linked in the description down below, to get premium wireless for $15 a month.